What's going on guys? Steve from Pack Leader Dogs. I'm on, on my way to a consultation right now. Figured it would be a good time to talk to you guys about the difference between excitement and happiness in dogs. So this is a, a very common confusion that people have when it comes to dogs and dog psychology. Is they think an excited or aroused dog is a happy dog. But in reality, excitement and happiness are two separate things, right? So when a dog's in, in a fight, a dog's excited. When a dog's in an anxiety attack because the owner is leaving, they're in an excited state. When a dog's in a panic or fearful of an object or a person, that's an excited or aroused state of mind, right? So can a dog be happy and excited? Definitely, yes, of course. But can a dog be happy and calm? Yes, right? So that's the goal that people really want is to have a calm dog, a dog who listens. So what people are doing is for instance at the front door a person comes home from work put their keys in open the front door they open the door the dog's going nuts right jumping barking sprinting around the house and the human is interpreting my dog is so happy to see me in reality the dog is excited so they're learning that that repetition of human entering the door means get nuts right so the human reinforces it Hey buddy, great to see you. Petting, talking to, so doing touch, talk, and eye contact to the dog, right? All that does is reinforce that excited state and actually nurtures it and brings it higher. Every repetition, it's practice. So with practice, practice makes perfect, right? So every repetition gets more and more and more excited, excited, to the point where it becomes overwhelming. Then, all of a sudden, your mom comes over, a friend comes over, whatever it may be, the delivery guy, they knock on the door, dog goes nuts. What does the human do there? Starts yelling at the dog, quiet, enough, go away, lay down, pulling the dog away. So that you can understand the confusion of the dog. The dog is saying, hey, we practice this thing every single day. Get nuts when human enters door. But now someone else is here, and now you're telling me no, and you're doing it from a tense, overreactive state. It doesn't make sense to them. So they get confused and that's where some of the bad behaviors come where they start saying, I'm up here in this level of excitement and now you're getting tense about person coming in. So maybe I should nip this person. Should I bark and chase this person out the door? It's, it creates a very confusing state for a dog. So what should you do is what you're probably asking. And by the way, Speaking of practice, this hand thing, I'm from New York, so I'm working on that. I have a lot of repetitions of using my hands all over and over when I'm talking. So I'm practicing the other one. I'm gonna start practicing the other way. So let's see if the rest of this video, I can keep my hands down. It's gonna be a challenge, but let's see. Um, so what should the human do? When they come home, walk in the door and ignore the dog. And people are gonna say, why would I do that? I love my dog. But you're not so much ignoring the dog. What you're really doing is ignoring the behavior of excitement. There goes my hands again. Let me try again. So you're ignoring the state of mind, which is cop which is excitement. So now the dog says, hmm, I can't get any affection or attention from my owner when I'm in an excited state and jumping and chaotic. So how do I get affection? And you walk in, you put your bag down, you relax. You start ignoring that behavior of the excitement and they have to come up with a different conclusion, right? So. All of a sudden, the dog says, all right, so now I'm calm. Hey, and now the owner came over and pet me. Oh, I'm going to do this more often. Let me be in a more relaxed state when I, when someone walks through the door. Now you start practicing that every single day, and the dog starts getting conditioned to human entering the doorway means calmness, means relaxation. The dog can totally still be happy with happy about you coming home, but it doesn't have to mean that the dog's going nuts, running around the furniture, going crazy, all that stuff. So in reality, we wanna create the repetitions and nurture a dog in a calm state. And it's gonna take time in the beginning. The first time, if you've been practicing this for a long time, the wrong way, shouldn't say the wrong way, just that you didn't know or understand what you were creating. It's gonna take some time. It might take you five minutes, it might take a minute, it might take 20 minutes, depending on your dog. But just take the time until a dog finally settles. Then at that point, you go give affection. And then he starts saying, oh, I've been getting rewarded and getting the affection in this state of mind. So that's something that you guys can definitely practice. I'd love to hear if it's working out for you guys after practicing it. Um, it's, to me, one of the most common things that I deal with. So that switch right away can become a huge factor and when guests come over, 
because then you start practicing the, the way of calmness at front door, then guest comes over and they say, and you're telling your dog, relax, shh, from a calm state of mind, right? So now the dog's saying, oh, he's calm. I stay calm because we practice this every day. So now when the human comes in, I'm happy. Oh, look, there's someone here. This is so great to see them, but they're not going wild. So again, that's the difference between excitement and happiness. Hope you, that was super valuable to you guys, and we're gonna continue giving you more valuable information. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below here. There go my hands. I'm from New York again. I'm gonna try to fix this whole thing. Uh, look forward to hearing from you guys, and have a great day. Stay calm and assertive.